Hey folks, in this video, we're going to be talking about dimensional analysis to the fifth dimension. So corny. Let's go. Um, so our objectives. I want you to be able to perform dimensional analysis in order to convert units. And then I want you to be able to perform multi-step dimensional analysis. And I want to talk about how the dinosaurs went extinct. So let's get rocking. Um, dimensional analysis. It's a system for converting units. Um, it's a pretty, pretty good one. Um, it uses conversion factors to change the units. Uh, so conversion factors would be stuff like, hey, one foot is equal to 12 inches, or three feet is equal to one yard, or one kilogram is equal to 9.8 newtons. Um, they're just the things that express, hey, this one unit is equal to this many in, not numerically in another unit. So if we want to change the numbers on a unit, um, we've got basically a three-step process. First, we want to figure out what the correct conversion factor is. Second, we want to make a con that conversion factor into a fraction. So the unit that we desire to have should be on the top um, in the numerator, and the unit that we want to replace is going to go in the denominator. And then whatever number has units that we want to change, we're going to multiply it by this fraction. So let's look at that um, with an example. Say I want to convert 4.92 kilograms into newtons. Well, step one, I'm going to figure out what's my conversion factor. And that would be something that relates kilograms to newtons. And I happen to have that over here. I go out one kilogram equals 9.8 newtons. And now it's over here. Um, so I want to convert my kilograms into newtons. So that's going to inform me what goes in the numerator and what goes in the denominator. So I'm just going to put down a line. And I'm going to make my fraction with this. So I want to have newtons. So newtons will go on the top. And I want to convert away from kilograms. So that will go on the bottom. And now I'm going to put the numbers in my fraction. So I know 9.8 goes with newtons, and 1 goes with kilograms. So those are in my fraction. And now I can multiply the number that I want to convert. So 4.98 times this fraction. Uh, the kilograms will cancel out the kilograms, because this is effectively in the numerator, and this is a denominator. Kilograms divided by kilograms equals no more kilograms. And I math this out, and I've got my answer. So I'm going to do 4.92 times 9.8 divided by one. And this gives me my super cool answer with new units. Sweet. Uh, let's give that a little practice. Why don't you uh, try using some of these conversion factors and uh, practice. Pause the video, try this here problem. Do it now. Sweet. You did that right back then. Um, so we want to convert these millimeters to meters. So first thing I want to select the correct conversion factor. Well, that would be the one that has millimeters and meters in it. I think it's this puck. And I know that I want to go from millimeters to meters. I'm going to write down my conversion factor, and I know what to put in the numerator and in the denominator. So I'll make my little line, put my meters in the numerator, because that's what I want to have, and my millimeters in the denominator, because that's what I used to have. I'll put the numbers in here, so it's a, a thousand meters. Mil oh, Oh, this is this should be millimeters silly goober you didn't copy and paste well thousand millimeters is equal to one meter so we'll put the millimeters get a thousand there and i'll multiply my number by this so i'll do 597 times one divided by a thousand to give me 0 0.597 meters cool buns um try this problem now we want to convert pramble to tin and apps prambles god i love saying that pause the video try it out <clears throat> cool well, I want to go from prambles to tin and apps, and I've got my conversion factor up here. I know one pramble is equal to 59.77 tin and apps, um, so I'll make up my little fraction line. I'm going to put my tin and apps in the top and my prambles in the bottom. I want to have tin and apps. Um, I'll put in the numbers, 59.77 tin and apps, and one for prambles, and I'll multiply 0 0.24 by this to give me my answer. So 0 0.24 times 59.77 divided by 1 gives me 14.3 tin and apps. Sweet. I hope you came up with those answers as well. Let's uh, let's move on. Oh, right. This is how the dinosaurs went like uh, Multicolored horses with uh, guns. Uh, pew, 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 pew. Not scientifically accurate. Um, Multi-dimensional analysis. Multi-step, rather. Um, so it's basically the same process, but if you need to make multiple conversions to get from point A to your desired destination. So all the conversions, we can combine into one equation. So you can, it's a nice way to visualize uh, how all of your math is going to take place and do it in one nice, clean step. So let's look at an example. If I want to do multiple steps here, if I need to convert 5,000 grams to stones and I don't have a direct conversion between grams and stones, how am I going to do that? Well, I know that I can see it. I can see, oh, well, here's grams, and that's what I started with. So I can make grams into pounds, 
and then I'll be at pounds, and I could make pounds into stones. So in two steps, I convert convert grams into stones. So you need to be able to visualize how you're going to do this conversion. So I like to write up a little flow chart strategy. I can make my grams into pounds, my pounds into stones. So I need to use that system. Um, and with that established, I can set up two fractions. The first one is going to make my grams into pounds. So pounds should go up top and grams should go in the bottom. My second fraction, I'm going from pounds to stones. So stones should go on top and pounds should be on the bottom. And now I can just match up my numbers. So uh, 453.6 grams and one pound and one pound and 0 0.71 stones. Cool beans. I've got my two dimension or my two conversion factor fractions set up. So I can multiply 5,000 by this whole shebang. And so I'll do 5,000 times one divided by 453.6 times 0 0.71 divided by one to get my answer of 0 0.783 stones. Stones is a fun measurement, fun unit. Um, cool, cool, cool. So why don't we try some practice with that? Um, why don't you pause the video and give this dude a shot? Sweet, you paused the video and you gave this one a try. Well, let's think, how can we work here? We're starting with yards. We want to get to millimeters. Well, I've got a thing that has yards in it here. I can go from yards to centimeters. And then I could go from centimeters to millimeters. So that's, that's a good game plan. Um, so I'll set up my fraction lines. First one's going to have yards in the bottom, because that's where we started. And we're going to centimeters, so that'll be up top. And the second one should have uh, centimeters in the bottom and millimeters up top, because that's where we're going. Um, and I'll plug in the numbers now for my conversion factors. And yeah, 10 millimeters, cool. This looks good. I didn't mess anything up. So now I can multiply 95 by both of these fractions. So 95 times 91.5 divided by 1 times 10 divided by 1. My yards cancel out. My centimeters cancel out. And I'm left with just a sweet answer, really big number of millimeters, which I could express in scientific notation if I really wanted to, which I, I want to. Cool. Um, I hope you came up with that as well. Why don't you try this here problem as well? Pause the video. Sweet. You done paused the video and gave this puppy a shot. Well, we're going from ml milliliters to tablespoons. Um, so I'm going to start with milliliters, and that's here. Cool. I've got milliliters to fluid ounces, and then I've got fluid ounces that I can use to go to Um So... Cool, my first fractions. Oh, here's my game plan. Milliliters to flus, to the flaws, to the p -p -s, to p -s, p -s. anyway. Um, two fractions. The first one's gonna have milliliters in the bottom, fluid ounces up top, because we're making that change. The second one should have fluid ounces in the bottom, tablespoons up top, because that's our second change. And then I should pop in my numbers. So four fluid ounces goes with 113 milliliters. And two tablespoons goes with one fluid ounce. So I can do 500 times four divided by 13 times two divided by one to get an answer of 35.4 tablespoons. Um, sweet. Uh, let's do a little bit more practice. Um, cool. Try doing this conversion here now because these dudes are a little challenging. I want to give you all lots of practice. Um, sweet. So you paused this video and you said, all right, I'm converting from grams of oxygen to liters um, of volume. Um, and I've got two conversion factors down here. Well, the first one, if I want to start with grams, here's what I got. I can go from grams to moles. And then I could go from moles to liters. That's like pretty much the only thing that can happen. All right, so we'll go from grams to moles to liters. Um, so we'll start with grams down below, moles up top. And then I'll do moles down below, because I'm starting with moles. Uh, second step is moles to liters. So moles below and liters up top. I'll match up the numbers. So one mole and 32 grams and one mole with 22.4 liters. And then I can do 39.1 times both of these are fractions. So we'll do 39.1 times 1 divided by 32 times 22.4 divided by 1 to give me 27.4 liters. Pretty cool. Let's try this last problem. Last one. Oh, so sad. Um, so for this one, we're going to have to do a little bit more challenging. You're going to need all these conversion factors that are on the page right now. So pause the video and give it a shot. Cool. You paused the video and gave it a shot. Um, so I'm going from... 300 liters to how many kilograms there are. So I'm going to start with liters. And the only thing up here that has liters in it is uh, this pop. So I must use this conversion factor first. We'll go liters to moles. Um, the only other thing that has moles in it is this pup. So I have to go from moles to grams. And the only other thing with grams in it is this pup. So I'll have to go from grams to kilograms. So we'll do liters to moles to grams to 
Oof, I'm, I got all excited to kill grabs. Um, so I'll do three conversions here. I got three arrows, so that's going to be three conversions. The first one is leaders to moles. So we'll put our leaders below and our moles up top. The second one is moles to grams, so the moles below and the grams up top. And then the last one is grams to kilograms, so the grams below and the kilograms up top. Um, so I can plug in all the numbers. My liter mole conversion there. I got my moles and grams. I can fill that in with this. And I got my grams and kilograms. I can fill that in with this. And now I'll do 300 times these three beautiful fractions. So 300 times 1 divided by 22.4 times 32 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 1,000 gives me 0 0.428 kilograms of oxygen. So there you go. We got a fancy, fancy pants, three-step dimensional analysis. And I hope you feel like you understand how to, uh, how to do these pops now. Um, sweet. That's the end of the video. Have a great rest of your life and ta-ta.